Hi, this is Mohamed Omer and Manos Bulakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 124 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating CTO with a bifurcation of the distal cap that was also balloon uncrossable and balloon undilatable. The patient was an elderly man with previous non ST elevation myocardial infarction, slightly reduced ejection fraction, presenting with dyspnea. He was uh, viable by MRI and was uh, referred for PCI of the LADCTO to improve symptoms and left ventricular function. This is a dual injection. He does have a CTO in the middle AD right after the takeoff of uh, a large diagonal branch. The LAD distally feels from a septal collateral. The length is about 30 millimeters and there is a bifurcation on the distal cap. Our plan was to start with undergrade wire escalation, ADR with re-entry and leave retrograde as the third option. We obtained bifemoral access. We did use a Corsair and then a filter XTA followed by a Gaia second that seemed to be going subintimally or in a septal branch. We then uh, used uh, the filter XTA again, and then this time the wire did enter into the septal, distal to the anastomosis. So what should the next step be? The best way to handle this is where there is wire going to the side branch, but not in the main vessel, is to advance a dual lumen microcatheter, and then use the over the wire lumen of the dual lumen microcatheter to advance the second wire into the distal main vessel. In this case, we did not do that. We tried to take a shortcut and actually just pull the wire back and try to rewire into the LED, which actually was not a good idea because the wire now is in the subintimal space. And this is an example where trying to get a shortcut can actually prolong the case. We tried again with the filter XTA and we were able to get back into this septal branch. And this time we did take a twin pass torque and try to advance it to wire into the LED, but unfortunately it would not cross past that uh, proximal cap due to significant calcification. So what to do next? This is an example of a microcatheter uncrossable, which is the same as the balloon uncrossable lesion. And the first step for those lesions is to get a small balloon. If it doesn't work to grenadoplasty, then use a combination of microcatheters or more support for guide extensions, use laser atherectomy, and as a last step, use subintimal crossing techniques. Starting with the simplest steps first, we did try a standard 1.5 millimeter balloon, and that uh, did cross. We did multiple balloon dilatations in this portion of the lesion. And then we were able to deliver the twin pass torque microcatheter through which we then used a Pilot 200, which uh, successfully advanced into the distal true lumen as confirmed by contralateral injection from the right coronary artery. We then uh, switched the wire for the workhorse guide wire, but uh, there was another problem. At the same area where the microcatheter would not cross, we now had a balloon undilatable lesion with a waste despite inflating a balloon uh, for up to 26 to 28 atmospheres. So what to do next? And this brings us to the algorithm for balloon undilatable lesions. The key differentiating factor about strategy is whether it's a de novo or an instant lesion. And in this case, it was a de novo lesion. And the question is, is it likely to respond to balloon, sometimes with very heavy calcification, or when the intravascular imaging shows circumferential calcium, especially thick calcium, going up front to atherectomy is the better way to go. If uh, there are no such high features, then one starts with high pressure balloon inflation, which we have already done in this patient, potentially using one or more body wires that act as a modified balloon. And if that doesn't work, then use a modified balloon, such as the angel scout, the chocolate, or a cutting balloon, to see if that can modify the lesion enough to allow expansion. If that fails, then atherectomy can be performed, followed possibly by laser, and finally by subintimal lesion crossing. In very rare cases, if nothing works, the patient can sometimes need to go for coronary bypass graft surgery. In this particular case, we did use a 3.0 millimeter chocolate balloon who has a 19 0 cage, allowing the pillows of the balloon to get in touch with the vessel wall, and this did allow expansion of the lesion. 
Two stents were successfully placed, jailing a wire in the diagonal that was a large caliber vessel, and that provided a nice result. We did have good flow in the LED, we did not lose the diagonal branch, and the patient had an uneventful recovery with resolution of his symptoms. So in summary, this case shows that uh, having algorithms is key for complex lesions, such as this one. We had the algorithm for crossing into the side branch at a bifurcation of the distal cap. We tried to take a shortcut. However, taking the dual lumen actually was the best way to get it done without having to switch retrograde. We then had a balloon uncrossable lesion that we were able to modify with a small balloon. And finally, we had a balloon undilatable lesion, which was the same as the balloon uncrossable. About half of the balloon uncrossable lesions are actually also balloon undilatable. And this was successfully expanded by using a chocolate modified balloon. Thank you.